Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacob Wilson and welcome back to our supplement review of the day, which is gonna be CLA. Now before I start, I just wanna say, um, definitely support the channel by liking it, um, liking this video, sharing the video, um, and subscribing to the channel, right? That's the best way you can actually support this channel and spread the love. So today, again, we're gonna be talking about CLA, which is conjugated, linoleic acid, conjugated linoleic acid. What does it mean to be conjugated linoleic acid? Well, conjugated linoleic acid is a fatty acid. It's polyunsaturated. What does that mean? Well, you know saturated solid at room temperature, right? Like butter. And you know unsaturated is basically liquid at room temperature. What makes it liquid? Well, you basically have these bonds, okay? These, these essentially bonds, uh, carbons that are bonded to hydrogens, okay? Fatty acids are long chains of basically hydrocarbons. But carbons can sort of double bond, and when you double bond, it makes it more of a fluid structure. And when you have more than one double bond, like two or more, it's polyunsaturated. Well, CLA, not to be technical, but basically you have a single bond, at least one single bond, between two double bonds. And that makes it CLA, or conjugated linoleic acid. And that's not really important to understand, but the main thing is to understand is that CLA could be a good nutrient partitioning agent um, and could help with fat metabolism. So what do I mean by nutrient partitioning? Well, basically, you ever see those guys, Lawrence Ballinger is a really good example. If he eats Oreos, he eats it, he digests it, and goes direct, directly to his muscle and he gets a pump, okay? And really, the fat in the middle of the Oreo doesn't go to his fat, okay? It just gets burnt up in the muscle. That's nutrient partitioning. We're partitioning nutrients toward muscle and away from fat. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, it's an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, and what it does is when fat's circulating around the blood, it basically is an enzyme that chips the fat off of these circulating globules of fat, and it chips the fat off so it can go into fat and get stored as fat. Well, it turns out that CLA inhibits lipoprotein lipase in fat tissue. So this means that you can't, it's not as easy to partition fat toward fat tissue because you're stopping this enzyme, which is basically taking fat off uh, of these large globules in the blood into fat to be stored. So if you're stopping that process, it's harder to store fat. You're gonna be more like Lawrence Ballinger. So that's one way it helps burn fat. Um, and I think that's real important. Also, uh, in one of our supplement reviews, we talked about L-carnitine, but it actually seems that it increases um, the carnitine transport protein in mitochondria as well. So that can help you take fat, fatty acids and put them into the mitochondria to be burned as fat. So all that said, does it work? Well, studies show a low to moderate effect of CLA on fat burning. In fact, a meta-analysis actually showed um, anywhere from 0.2 to 0.45 pounds of fat lost per week. 0.2 to 0.45 pounds of fat loss per week on CLA, and that's dose dependent. The 0.2 was around three grams a day, and the 0.45 was around six grams a day. So I recommend anywhere from three to six grams a day. When I'm actually trying to get lean, I will take six grams a day. Um, also, it does seem, there is some evidence that CLA could be good for like raising testosterone, because CLA um, inhibits the conversion of testosterone to estrogen so if you're a guy, inhibiting that process might help you raise testosterone levels a little bit more. So it might make you more hard and dense. Now a lot of people are saying 0.2 pounds of fat is nothing, it doesn't help me, or even 0.45. Well, think about this for a second. If, if, you, if you gain a very little amount of fat every day after the age of 25, it adds up to about a pound of fat gain per year after the age of 25, okay? And so think about this, just something, small little changes over time, okay? can add up to big changes over a lifespan. So I think when you're talking about bodybuilding or training, it's a long game. So I think that taking even stuff that results in small, moderate changes, but they're consistent changes, I think are good for your, uh, for your repertoire. So again, uh, CLA, good nutrient partition agents, might help with fat loss, three to six grams a day, and you'll lose a small amount of fat every single week. Um, and it also may help with testosterone levels and keeping you more hard and dense. Thank you so much, guys. Again, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share this.
because the only way we're gonna help a lot of people, we work really hard on these videos. We spend a lot of time to help you, but our goal is to help as many people as possible. And the best way for you guys to do that is to share this and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.